So no more banana hanging from the tree. We had to harvest them really quick. Let me tell you about it. Daylight come and me one go home. Stack banana till the morning come. Daylight come and me one go home. Come Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Daylight come and me one go home. Come Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Daylight come and me one go home. Well, we have to cut the bananas down. There's some ripening super fast and actually a few split. So we're cutting it down right now. Look at that dripping. Holy moly. Pretty good for Saskatchewan, minus 30, not too bad. So this is possibly the first ever edible bananas grown in Saskatchewan, if not some of the first. They are ripening literally by the hour. They're starting to split even. So we cut the whole thing down. We had to harvest it right away all at once instead of doing it little batches. 14.1 kilograms, 31.1 pounds. And we've taken off quite a few bunches all the way up to here. Maybe it would have been almost 40, I guess. So switch to the filleting knife or deboning knife, I guess, to try to get these bunches off. It, as opposed to this one. Never done this before. We have to get to these ripe, riper ones that literally ripen today and split apart today. Look at how this is t literally today. St a couple of them are splitting apart. They turned yellow like hours. Somebody wants to know. Want some bananas? There you go. This is pretty exciting. That's a that's an accomplishment. So we picked our first one in minus fifty Celsius, minus fifty four Celsius. It's been a warmer winter, but still months on end minus twenty five, minus thirty. And three years into doing it, we bought our first little plant this high in a pot and give it lots of water. Fish waste is our only fertilizer. Take care of it, make sure the temperature doesn't drop below 10 Celsius. Bananas are super easy to grow, a new favorite for Saskatchewan. They're so sweet. I don't think they're Cavendish because they're sweeter. They're not um, blue java or ice cream like we thought they were. Um, they were mislabeled. So we don't know exactly what they are, but they are delicious. You there's nothing like it. Beautiful specimen here. Look at that. It's sweet. It's not a Cavendish. It's almost more, what do you call it, spongy? Almost more dense or sponge, spongy. We'll let some go really yellow, some really brown, probably sweeten it up. But they're delicious how they are. So, hey, tell me what you think. They're good. Do you like them? Yeah, and but, I got play doh on here too. Put play doh on your hands. Yeah. Are they better than the grocery store bananas? Mhm. Mm yeah, delicious. I think your chicken wants one too. Pretty good, eh? So this is off the last of the bunch that we harvested all at once. In here, it weighed 31.1 pounds, and there's 105 bananas in here. 
that is just over a quarter pound per banana. Uh, the bananas that we picked, the bunches that we picked in the house, what we've eaten and given away, total bananas off of that plant, 145 and 40 pounds of bananas. So 145 bananas, 40 pounds, weighing in at just over a quarter pound per ban per banana, which is just over four ounces per banana. Bananas like they grow in the tropics in minus 30 Saskatchewan. Guess we don't need this two by four here anymore. Daylight come and me one go home. Work all night for a drink of rum. Daylight come and me How do I get in here? Stack banana till the morning come. Daylight come and me one go home. Come, Mr. Timber. And me one go home. Come, Mr. Tallyman. Tally me banana. Daylight come and me one go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight That's foot the five. mother plant. Gone because we harvested bananas. Six and uh, should be a nice treat for the, the piggies. They're getting that today. So cool. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Daylight come and me one go home. Beautiful bunch of ripe bananas. Daylight come and me one go home. Hide the deadly black tarantula. Daylight come and me one go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. Daylight come and me one go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. Daylight come and me one go home. You better like and subscribe to watch me grow bananas in minus 50 because AI isn't going to cut it.